Hello everyone and welcome back to our Expert Expert Low Gladiators 7 Maximum Recruit Iron Man campaign. Um, last time we did, we got two new guys. This guy, he's a raider. He's not amazing. And this guy, who's better, the adventurous noble. So, it's a little bit risky because... The, the two guys that we got rid of were, I think they were both level 7 or level 6, but I think it was worth the risk as long as we don't allow them to die. So I think what I'd like to try and do now is um, maybe come down here, uncover a little bit of the map. Um, actually, there's a location over here. I don't remember what that is. Probably undead. We might actually we might be able to take that now. I was hoping to get a falcon, but it just it didn't materialize. So this guy, he's both afraid and he has fractured ribs, so I'm going to give him a shield in case we need it. This is probably undead, that's why I'm giving these guys heater shields. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to be able to take this, we'll just have to look. Hello, welcome to the new viewer. Uh, 24? It's all going to depend on how many geists there are, if there's a necromancer or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is a decent little area here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can put my three gladiators in front. Alright, let's wait and see. See what it is. I don't know why my computer's running like crap right now. Let's see if I can. Maybe it's the snow animation? Okay, so there is a necromancer, so... That makes the fight a lot more dangerous. I'm not necessarily willing to give up just yet, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the Necromancer's 10. He probably has two guys guarding him, so that's 12. I'm going to move back. Let me just see. This guy has 12 melee defense. That's our new guy. Sure. Well, my computer is running like crap right now. I don't. I don't feel like restarting it. it. It's okay, but I mean, I don't have anything else running right now. I don't know why it's doing this. Let's see if I can maybe turn off that animation.
So I'm not retreating because most of these guys don't have weapons. So even though there is a necromancer, these guys are not too intimidating, these wider gangers. And the worst case scenario would be that there's geists. But we just we just don't know until until we know. I'm just going to save his stam. This this guy's not really a threat. Okay, um, one sec. One of my settings is screwed up right now. It should work now. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy with these. Throwing weapons because I don't want to use up all their stam. This guy with the axe is definitely dangerous. waiting because these guys who don't have any weapons are really not much of a threat. I'm waiting uh, instead of ending their turn because I might want to Adrenaline if it turns out that there's Geiss or if the Necromancer possesses somebody at the end of the turn. So he decided to resurrect somebody instead of possessing them. I'm just going to conserve his stam right now. I'm going to pull out the sword. And I'd rather attack this guy. No need to adrenaline. So, it looks like there's no Geists. These other guys must be the guys that are um, guarding the Necromancer. This guy doesn't have great melee defense, the bear. I want 
to keep attacking these guys because they're going to start coming around. And um, these guys in the back are, are new and they don't have great melee defense. I was hoping we could kill him because he's probably going to get possessed now. Yeah. Okay, nice. Taking some damage. He's okay right now, though. I'm going to wait because these guys are going to be coming around. Just seeing. See how this is, says blocking sight? So they're not going to be able to attack with um, one of the. There's a wider ganger over here who has a pitchfork. He's not going to be able to attack over here. I'm just going to wait. There he is. So that this guy's a problem right here with this pitchfork. Fine, except for this guy is the only guy that's kind of in a little bit of trouble. have to start protecting him a little bit more. Guy's too dangerous. That sucks. We missed. If he gets possessed, we could we could be in a lot of trouble next turn. It's not worth adrenaline, though. We're not going to be able to kill him. He, he could he could really he could do a lot of damage. This guy. He's got almost no armor here. Yeah, 
he's he's almost out of armor now. I don't think he can use these throwing axes because these guys are in his zone of control. When is this guy up? 11 turns. Yeah. This this is not looking good. Didn't get him though. have to try to kill him because he's been picking us apart and then this guy I'm gonna have to adrenaline with him to try and kill this axe guy Adrenaline with everybody. Okay, that's good. We got a decapitation. Um, let's kill this guy. He's dangerous. Kill him. This guy's going to be a problem pretty soon with this axe. Alright, I'm going to wait for these two guys to come up. Great. We needed that. Okay, th this is a problem over here. Big problem. Actually good for us then because this guy can't attack this turn so we can try and kill this guy now he's only got 60 life now Is he up? Twelve turns. I'm gonna wait because I want this guy to get away from over here. So I'm gonna wait with him and um, wait with this guy too. All right. Hopefully this guy will come over here. Helping him. 
Although this guy kind of needs some help too. He's afraid, so that's a problem. But. starting to whittle the numbers down a little bit, but um, we might, we're kind of running out of time. This guy only has 60 life. This guy with the spear is very, very dangerous. If he gets possessed, he could come in and kill him right now. Okay, that's, that's good that this guy came in instead. I'm going to have to kill him. That was great. We got lucky that this guy acted before the, um, the necromancer. I need to kill this guy now, though. His turn is done, but he's he's too dangerous. We need to kill him. Good, he hit him in the helmet, finally. Just really gotta get through this guy. So I'm gonna wait. So hopefully this, this guy is probably gonna come over here and then we can attack him. Okay, good. Nice. protect this guy more than anything right now. So it looks like looks like we're gonna be fine.
I'm gonna wait a little bit while longer before I move out. Just because, you know, like we killed a lot of these guys, but we didn't we didn't get decapitation, so. They can keep getting resurrected by the uh, necromancer. So I think I'm going to start moving out with these two gladiators. wait because I want to move out with him. Now that he's starting to possess people, I'm going to move out more aggressively. Just wait in case he uh, decides to resurrect people. I want him to recover his stam a little bit before we get in there. Guys are all kind of stammed out. to do is waste his turn resurrecting. Just move up one with him.
I'm surprised that he's still doing that. Okay, it's annoying. All right, man, good first fight. Didn't get as much as I would have liked, but. I guess it's not like a super hard fight when you have a normal roster, it's just when you have seven men, it's tough. I'm trying to think if we want to use that. I don't think so. I was trying to think if we want to use that. I, I don't think so. Alright, so this guy needs underdog since his melee defense is so bad, but he's also like kind of our banner man, so it would be nice to give him fortified mind. I think underdog is probably more useful right now. You figure we just gave him probably seven melee defense this turn, so that's that's pretty good. More stam. His resolve sucks, but his HP sucks too. So, let's give him some HP. If I give him Fortified Mind, that'll give him like 8 Resolve, which is not great, but... I was going to give him Fortified Mind anyways. Gifted is another option. Gifted might be nice because he doesn't have talent in melee attack, so if he rolls ones, he could end up kind of sucking. I think I'm going to give him Gifted. Give him some resolve. Okay, so this guy rolled a 1. He needed HP, though, and some Stam would be good. A 
This is another guy we could maybe give gifted to. But he's reasonably solid right now, so I want to go student. I'm going to head back here, see if we can get some tools. Kravlund is down here. Okay. It's not like an amazing paying contract, 760, uh, 780. But probably worth doing. All right. They have another mace now, so I'd like to grab another mace. Paying out four twenty two a day, huh? This is twenty seven ninety three. Thirty two oh eight minus four twenty two minus twenty seven ninety three. So we gotta raise at least 450 crowns if we wanna get that. I'm not going to get it now. I'm going to get it after this contract. I think it should still be there. We just don't quite have enough money to get it now. Get some cheap tools here. Um, I'm not going to grab them now, though, because I want to get that mace. Ambushers and skirmishers. Well, 
Let's do this just to make it easier. actually. Looks like we don't have enough swords right now. This guy's gonna have to use this scram sacks. Should be a pretty easy fight, I would think. not going very well right now. Um... Yeah, unfortunately... I'm gonna I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna retreat so I can change their armor. I think that we're better off fighting them the way that I fought um, the goblins in the last one, which is just one shield guy to tank, and then these guys just use the pole arms and the adrenaline. I don't want to get in and engage now because the one-handed weapons they have don't do enough damage. So I'm going to retreat, swap out their body armor. They didn't take a lot of HP damage. And then we can come back and uh, change the loadout. I think maybe I'll give two guys shields, or, or maybe three. And instead of using the throwing weapons, I'm just gonna go right in, I'm gonna move in four. 
and then we can adrenaline with everybody and uh, that should work a lot better than what we just did. So this is a 95 minus 10. This is a 90 minus 10. So maybe we'll just throw this into this. Oh, I gotta change the loadouts. Still afraid, huh? Where's that kite shield? There we go. I don't think we're going to use them, so just get extra stam for our guys. they're coming out a little bit. That'll help us a lot. Nice if we could kill these guys who have the nets before they use them. adrenaline. This guy does not have adrenaline, though. I want to make sure that we kill this guy with the net. That's, that's why I did that.
again. Alright, so that was pretty big right there. I think fighting goblins in this campaign when they have uh, like on a hill and fortifications is going to be really really hard. I'm not even sure if we can take those fights in this campaign with only seven guys. <laughs> because you know typically the way that I fight those those fights. I got a bunch of guys in the front with shield wall, um, not shield wall, kite shields. But then by doing that, you also lower your DPS. So because we only have seven guys, it would really lower our DPS quite a bit. To the point where I don't know if we'd be able to, to kill them fast enough because they have so many archers. So I'll have to think about that. We got 2840 plus 780. Kind of need those swords. I don't know if I have enough money to buy these tools. I'm going to have to do some math here. 2840 minus 422. Plus 780. Yeah, I'm barely going to have enough money to even buy the mace. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to buy the mace. Just because we're paying out 422 a day in wages. I mean, that's a lot of money to pay out in wages. Thirty-six twenty, but we're gonna be down to like thirty-two hundred in a little bit. Oh, we got this stuff too. Okay. You know, I like nets. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if they really work in this company. You know, because all of our guys are using pole maces, nets. Nets really work with one handed weapons, they don't work well with pole maces. And we only have 90 inventory slots, so I'm just going to get rid of them. So we're going to have two days worth left of, of crowns. Let's 
so let's give this guy these as well. Uh, maybe we could sell some of these barbarian maces now. Let me think. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna have to sell. Um, I'm gonna have to sell this. probably sell like two of these swords. head this way maybe we can get maybe we can find a location or maybe we can get a contract over here we're, we're kind of dangerously low on money right now um, I guess not actually because afternoon I thought that afternoon was just gonna hit but it didn't it already did hit Um, I don't think I want to mess with this guy. Now, you know, I don't really want that cleaver, so it's, it's just not worth the risk. See if we can get a contract over here. I don't know where it is, Weiss instead. Four days to the south, so it might be... Maybe over here? That seems like it's about four days away. It's also this location over here. It's kind of far from us. Um, let me see how much money it pays. This is not a great contract, but we're kind of getting desperate. 1,600 crowns. It's going to take four, four days to get there. So, no, it's not really worth it. We pay out too much in wages right now. We're paying out 422 a day.
we're gonna have to do this one. This should be this should be pretty easy. It's pretty close to town. don't have any tools right now so nothing's repairing this guy's uh, vo very vulnerable in this fight uh, let's give him this actually well thralls okay many thralls So the main thing I'm concerned with in this fight is just these guys throwing at this guy who only has 11 H, uh, 53 HP right now. So the fight's pretty much over after all those adrenalines. The northern dogs just seem terrible to me. Like, they never hit anything, they're slow. I'm not sure how their, their stats compare to the southern dogs, but just based on my intuition, they just... They don't seem very useful. All right, well, I mean, we made a little bit of money. Okay, that's good we get these two. 
Um, Thal Eisenberg Bola. Thal Eisenberg Bola. Sixty-eight up to twenty total. So you're talking maximum payment is going to be thirteen sixty. It's not. It's not great. Let me just see what time of day it is. All right, it's early afternoon. If I sell this stuff, I can sell this too. set of tools. Four days worth of food. Right, I'm, I'm going to buy that because it's just dirt cheap. You know, I can't go too far because this is kind of a lot of ground we have to cover in five days. All right, I'm just hoping to find anything right now, so this is good. Okay, so they are coming to us. I don't want to fight them in the forest. He's still sick, okay. A few Reavers, so shouldn't be bad. These these patrol contracts, if you don't find anybody, it just it really sucks. Just eats up your whole bankroll. Um We have to get in. Concerned about this guy because he's got a nice mace. These guys with these bear claws can stun you too, so that that sucks. misses right now. Okay, good. Um, this is the guy who doesn't have a lot of HP, so I'm just gonna just gonna do that with him. Um, 
Oh, he's fleeing. Okay, so we'll get in there then. If he's fleeing. Um, you know, we could have actually farmed this armor. It's a 95. It's not amazing, but it might have... Actually, yeah. Yeah, maybe we could have gotten it. I just didn't think of it. Well, we're not going to get it now. All right, well, we hit him in the head, so maybe we will. Okay. Okay, that was good. We do, we do need a little bit more um, backup armor. So that was good. This guy, I'm going to have to give him fortified mine now. or not. This guy doesn't have quick hands yet, so let's give him quick hands. We can move him on the outside. Give him a mace. I'm gonna go this way instead of going all the way around just because like I said we don't have like a tremendous amount of time it was good we found a fight though just gotta get one more fight Maybe at least one more Uh, there is this location over here. Return within three days to Bola. I think we could probably make that in three days. Six Reavers. Good we got to them before the first Thal company got to them.
his turn is done. The problem is, is if I attack with the battle standard right now, it's probably not going to kill him. And then I think he, this guy has a hammer, which can do a ton of damage to him. So I think I'd actually rather just adrenaline. The only problem with that is I don't want all these guys to get in and attack my back line, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. Alright, that was good. We hit him in the head. I wonder if I can push him off this ledge here. Doesn't say what happened in the log. I was trying to see if he missed or if you just can't do it. I'm just gonna shield wall. Because I don't know if it's gonna work. Terrain is tricky. If we move him here, we'll, we can attack this guy with the pole mace and then adrenaline. So I think that's our best move. Not gonna. Okay, it's not letting me do it. I'm not sure why. Looks like he's two tiles away and he's only one elevation up, so we should be able to do it, but it's not letting us. Still not dead, okay. All right, nice, we got these heavy axes, that's awesome. Got a lot of good stuff in the north this campaign. The other campaigns, we hardly spent any time in the north. This time, we've spent almost all of our time in the north. This hammer is worth repairing. Actually, all this stuff is really worth repairing. Let's give... Let's give this guy these axes now. You know, I'd love to go over here. The only risk is I've actually failed these contracts before because I've just wasted too much time. So I'm not going to push my luck right now. I want to pay attention to when it goes down to two days. It's not afternoon. You would, 
you would figure it'd be afternoon, but it's not. Just because that's where most of the other um, stuff procs in this game. Could use some tools. Okay. This this would be a sick weapon for us, actually. buy one of these I can sell this stuff so I think we have more than seven maces now these guys all have maces so that's three four yeah so we can sell one of these maces Good price on food. So maybe we can go back and get that um, Bardiche. But we're going to need more money. But it would, it would kind of be a great weapon for us in this campaign. Just because we're doing the Noble War, it's, it's a good weapon against nobles. I don't know if it's as good as a two-handed flange mace, though, to be honest with you. So, it looks like we would have had plenty of time to go to that location. Let's see if we can find something over here, maybe. Few Thralls, many Reavers, a Barbarian Drummer. This guy leveled, huh? Give him underdog before nimble just because we need him to tank right now let's give him this instead of the kite shield for this fight few thralls many reavers okay So this might be a little bit more than we can than we can handle, but we'll have to see. This guy doesn't have quick hands yet. All right. Take a look at the fight. Depending on uh, depending on what kind of weapons the Reavers have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the drummer, and then one more guy. So not bad. This axe hammer is not a, a really strong weapon. These cleavers are not that good. 
these axes are I'm really concerned about the maces and the hammers when fighting these guys Saeed. 34. like these thralls that have these clubs just because they they tend to stun our guys okay that was a costly miss this guy's kind of vulnerable over here he's gonna he's gonna be facing a lot of heat this fight I'm going to wait with him. I want them to come in. I'm going to kind of rotate him around because this guy's going to need help. that I trust him enough to really get in there and fight. He's only got 17 melee defense. What about this guy, Wigmar? 19. Let's move him there. We can move Wigmar here. That's why I waited, because I wanted to do that to him. Alright, you adrenaline. We're running out of adrenalines right now, so that's a problem. That's not good. A lot of misses this fight. He's in a lot of trouble now, Milad. Try and rotate people back to help Milad. Super dangerous. 
This guy doesn't have a helmet, so maybe we can get lucky and hit him in the head. Good. Still not out of the woodwork yet. Okay, yep. I, I knew that was a risk. Okay, nope. Ooh, man. Okay, good. You know, I wasn't thinking about the rotate. I was thinking, okay, he can come in here, but I wasn't thinking then, then he could rotate the other guy in. He's got a broken nose. That's not too bad. Definitely got a little lucky there. Had a lot of misses, unfortunately. You know, that's one of the reasons I give my guys fast adaptation, because you miss once, a lot of times you'll be okay, but you miss twice, uh, that's how you lose campaigns right there. Okay, so that's not the end of the world for him. Took a ton of HP damage, though. That sucked. That's the thing about those barbarian maces. Got a, good, a lot of good stuff, though. I want to see how much HP he had. 75 HP. He got hit on the head, and he took... 59 HP. I had a guy that had 80 HP once, took one on the head, and he was down to 1 HP. And he was wearing the same helm, a 140 helm. Let's give him this. We're lucky he didn't get, like, a, a really bad injury, though. Because th that's a big problem in a campaign like this, where you don't have a reserve roster. Let's give him a little bit more HP. 78, still kind of low. I think it's time to give him adrenaline now. We need it. We're definitely missing the, the power from adrenaline. And this stuff is all good to repair. So that was good. That that camp got us to um, 20 people. Good amount of money. We can um, got a bunch of stuff that we can repair and sell. That's probably just zombies. Two star zombies.
I think it'll be there when we get back. I want to go here, buy some tools, and sell stuff. Could also check out this other camp over here. Ocean of Bones. Okay, so he's saying there's a legendary armor there. Two of these hammers now, that's nice. Hammer or the Bardiche. This is like a very unique weapon that's very hard to get. But in a lot of ways, it's not as good as the mace or the hammer. So it, it would be nice to have both at some point. I'm going to take this, the Bardiche. Just because, like, hammer is nice on your outside guys. Your inside guys, a lot of times I'll use the mace. Just because you, you hardly ever get this weapon. So we could actually use this on one of these inside guys. Give this to him. Can use the mace. Sell another one of these now. Um, the man splitters. I don't think we'll use them now that we have like pretty good weapons. We don't really need them anymore. I'll hang on to the cleaver for now. What time of day is it? Dawn. So, I can't go too crazy buying tools right now. Next time, we're going to take this location. And then maybe we can work our way west. Maybe grab a contract over here, some locations around here. 
although that um, that contract's probably going to be gone by the time I get back here, but you never know. I probably should have taken it before coming down here. But in any event, thanks for watching. Uh, I still got one viewer right now. If you like what you see, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, IDXOX. I got full playthroughs on there. Thanks again, everybody.